WebSphere MQ has developed and evolved over time. You can see that when it started back in the 1990s, it was interested in setting up MQI. We're going to talk, talk about what that means uh, soon. But notice that it was uh, in version 2, was set up for multi-platform, and then it went on and on and on. And you can see, right, we've got XML, an in integration of SSL and SOAP and .NET came in here around version 5.3, uh, how it had JMS, and which is Java Messaging Service, which is sort of the Java way to get messages w moving around, HTTP and AJAX, managed file transfer, um, and then we brought in hypervisors around, the, you know, version 701, and then we integrated messaging. And this is the case that's always been evolving. And for those of you who are interested in the different features that are available from WebSphere when they came in, here's a nice uh, screenshot of that. This is on page 19 of the MQ Primer. And here's a slightly different view of that same data. And really the point behind showing you all of that history is to make the comparison that Roman Karkovsky already made. And you can see in his video with in much more detail than I'm going to cover here that because of the history, you have many more advantages in various different uh, areas. Of course, th there are advantages and disadvantages of all products, including MQ, against Active MQ and against Rabbit MQ. But if you take a look, for example, in failover, it it uh, is, is nicely done here. Versus uh, messages can be lost or duplicated. He goes into much more detail about how and why that is. If you're interested, uh, in the case of documentation, we have detailed and accurate information, as opposed to incomplete and not always accurate information on Active MQ. And again, you can I'm sure you could say, well, this is very subjective. But if you want more details, look at his presentation for more of that. He's got statistics on, on the uh, data that he collected. And in terms of the uh, message MQ Explorer, for example, which we haven't seen yet, it is very feature rich as opposed to the active MQ and, and to some degree against Rabbit MQ as well. Then you can see disk and foot pr uh, memory footprint 650 megabytes under 1 gig RAM versus 70 megabytes on disk and uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, you know, you have to sort of take... Um, these things with a grain of salt, but compare this now to message M, uh, to Rabbit MQ, where you see messaging appliance there is none, and cloud integration there is none, and Internet of Things none, and and so on. Um, the point again is that the history behind the product and consistently updating it has uh, given us advantages uh, against much of the competition. Of course, you're clearly able to make your own decision on what you um, see based on your experience but these are some quick numbers and again the full uh, presentation is available here at this url up here